Hello everyone, this is Nikita and thank you for joining me in this video. In this video, we would discuss about how to change a key in a data type. So uh, this is a very real time scenario where you have created a data type and you set some key on that data type. But over the time you noticed or you understood that you have set an incorrect key and you have to modify it. So this video is all about that. How do we modify the key for a data type? So for this particular uh, use case, let me first open uh, my data type. Let me open the book data type. And uh, this is the class uh, of this data type. Let me open this class and you can see it's a concrete class. So it's a, like a table is mapped to that uh, class. And this is the key, which is book ID. So currently this particular data type has some instances in it. So if even if you try to delete this key, it will not allow you to delete. Let me try to do that. Let me delete this key and try to save it. So it's saying that cannot change keys for a class with instances. So since there are uh, instances in this uh, data type, I cannot change the key or delete the key or do anything like that. So uh, in this uh, particular scenario, what do we do? Let me first open the table map to this uh, data class. So this is the uh, table which is mapped to a data class. You can see all the columns which are present there. Uh, now this is the constraint which is the primary key and the constraint is basically um, let me open this. Yeah, so book ID is the constraint or the primary key for this uh, particular table as well as the class, right? So now I have to change it. So for first, what I have to do is I have to uh, export this uh, record from this data type, right? So let me do that. Let me export this. Okay. And now I want to delete this, right? So let me delete this. Save. So now there are no instances in this particular data type. So the next step is uh, we need to change the key for that data type. So let me open this let me refresh this now i need to change the key so the new key would be maybe something like um, what are the different columns book name and author name let me try to uh, do that book name and author name i want to make these two as key i want to remove the book id and want to save this so it's allowing me to save now because there are no instances in this data type well and good but uh, what about the table so the key are changed in the class but it may or may not have been changed that we don't know so let me check out my table what has happened to it so let me refresh this so uh, let me open this primary key again properties okay it's still book id so there are no change in this particular table so this has to be done manually so first of all we will have to uh, delete this old constraint let me delete this okay now i need to create a new primary key so what do i do i just uh, right click on constraint create primary key uh, i need to give the name for that constraint let me give this okay comment is uh, columns now you need to provide the column or the primary key for this particular table uh, so i will give book name and also author name okay so these two are the uh, constraint that i have to give now let me save this uh, now when i refresh this so refresh and I will do a select query. Run this. Okay. So what do I see? I see book ID. I see lot of other column. But what about primary key? Yes, I see book name and author name as PK here. That means the primary key have been changed to PK. So to test this first, I will have to go to my data type. Uh, and whenever you do these kind of changes, it's advisable to go to the database table for that particular class book and do a save and do a test connectivity. So when you do a test connectivity and you see everything fine, there is no key mismatch uh, 
you know uh, error coming in here that means you are good to go so now uh, we are done here but what about the uh, record that i have exported i'll have to again import it right so let me do that let me import the one which i have exported i think i'll have to first save this let me first uh, refresh and then do the import okay but we have done it here but uh, we also have to check in the edit column section is everything reflecting correctly or not yes i see the book name and author name yeah so that means it's reflected correctly now i can import my record okay this is the one so as and when i add this here my table should also have the record so we will verify that also now click on next start validation continue import finish so now the records are present here what about the database table let me go and find out so this is my table i'll do a refresh i'll do a select query yes so my book name author name and everything is present now so that's what uh, i wanted now when i try to add the same book name and author name combination again does it allow me to add the database or pega allows to add that let me find it out let me save this you see that red colored error so basically it's not allowing you to add the constraint is firing up and it's basically telling you you cannot add the same combination of book name and author name again uh what if i try to add the book id again since i have removed that key i want to check whether that is working fine or not i'll give something atomic habits or something and book id as same let me try to save yes now it's allowing because now the primary key has changed to book name and author name and now the combination of book name and author name are different that's why it's allowing so i hope this video was useful to you and for more such videos keep tuned to my channel i would meet again with you in my next video till then take care bye bye